San Francisco, a sleepy little town where nothing much happens, but the people here are about to be awakened by something that will shake the world to its very core. But that's a different story. Our tale begins in the south of Market District with a group of strangers. They were mere boys at the time, but the events that would unfold would lead them on a journey into manhood. Join us now as we go under the skin of Happy Tree Friends. The fuse was lit in the summer of 1998 when Mondo Media released Happy Tree Friends on the internet to the unsuspecting public. The world was never the same. It all started with extensive research and development. This is where the seeds were sown from which the Happy Tree Friends sprouted. They loved each other more than any group of people I have ever met. They were like a well-oiled machine. With the writers doing their magic, it was up to the artists to create the look. Pencil and paper didn't cut it in this new age of online entertainment. Everything had to be better. Digital machines were employed to enhance human skills. In this electronic era of technology, the possibilities were endless. The difference was astounding, and more characters soon followed. All the hard work was capped off with the final touches in the sound department. Great lengths were taken to capture the most authentic sound effects for the show. Happy Tree Friends was an instant hit and became bigger than anything man had ever made. The creators now had time to make fake movie posters and other doctored photos just for laughs. They were taking animation back to the streets. cartoon made them sex symbols, their genius made them gods, but at what price? The success was too much for them to handle, they found themselves in a downward spiral of addictions. Jawbreakers, licorice, uh, sweethearts, mic and nikes, pop rocks, jujubes, pixie sticks, abazabas, laffy taffy, you name it, we ate it. We even ate Twix and Skittles at the same time. It was sick. Their tongues were so red, their breath so fruity, it was like they weren't even human. One time Ken was so jacked up that he animated a whole season on his own in one night. 
Too bad it was a season we already had. Then something happened nobody expected. The market for online animation went belly up. The saddest thing about the crash is that nobody ever told them it happened. I got the best job in the world! Unable to communicate with the outside world, the creators never found out about the end of Happy Tree Friends. They continue to make them to this day. So as long as there is still candy out there, there will still be Happy Tree Friends, even if nobody cares. <laughs>